Emergency sanitation in disaster zones can compound the initial tragedy, causing disease and an increased risk of death among survivors. Too often, holes in the ground serve as makeshift toilets. Damir Burdjanovic and his team at UNESCO IHE want to change that. They've developed the Emergency Sanitation Operations System, ESOS for short, an experimental toilet running on solar power. The lightweight system is easily transportable and uniquely deals with the entire emergency sanitation chain, including recycling urine into irrigation water. The emergency sanitation operation system is a holistic approach to emergency sanitation. It involves several components. It involves ESOS a smart toilet, smart transport and dislodging of each toilet unit, and the centralized treatment of feces and, uh, and urine. Uh, and the safe disposal of uh, materials like uh, dry sludge, which is a pathogen-free, and the clean water, which can be reused further in, in the system. ESOS includes smart features, such as an energy supply unit, a GPS sensor, and a monitor that tracks waste accumulation. The data can be transferred to an emergency coordination center, so officials can determine what needs there are in an area. As for its practical capability, the ESOS recycles liquid waste with the help of membrane bioreactors. It's a uh, novel technology which uh, will treat a liquid part to the level that you can even, at the end with some disinfection, have a reuse of water for either toilet use or for irrigation or horticulture or any other purpose that you can imagine in a refugee camp. The toilet is still in the testing phase and will be deployed in a refugee camp in the Philippines later this year. Its developers hope that by bringing disaster relief into the 21st century, they can save lives and the dignity of refugees. <laughs>